Today I'm going to be using a HP334A which is basically a distortion analyzer which I really don't use very much it's just sitting on my shelf and in, probably hasn't been calibrated in a long time I bought this unit used because uh, I got a good deal off of it basically again what it does is measure distortion say for um, if you're checking out audio amps or stereo receivers of course it can also be used as a um, AC voltmeter and this is what I'm using to feed the signal in um, this is a basically it's a Panasonic it is a combination distortion meter and um, audio oscillator audio generator and I'm using that to feed in a that 1000 Hertz signal right there um, I'm not hooking up an amplifier or receiver at this time but I probably will in another um, video this is just going to be a quick run through of how one is to use this thing if you want to measure distortion now this audio oscillator I'm using the audio generator here it's supposed to be like a real low distortion um, generator and that's what you basically have to use you can't have like a uh, you can't use like an audio generator or let's say a, a function generator where your where your distortion coming out of there is larger than the distortion of the machine you're going to test that doesn't make that's, that doesn't make any sense to do that so you're going to have to have um, make sure you're using a low distortion uh, uh, audio generator and then of course the 1000 Hertz that I'm feeding in that's just a 1000 Hertz sine wave that's just a standard uh, it's just a standard signal to use and here you can see I've got the banana plugs hooked up here is the input and the first thing I have to do I'm supposed to do according to the manual is make sure that the this meter here is mechanically zeroed uh, if not I think this is here for <clears throat> making sure making sure that basically zeroes out and then we are supposed to set the here's a switch here it says normal RF detection that's supposed to be to the normal basically to the normal side and your function switch is to the set level um, set level means basically now we're just setting this thing basically we're just setting this thing up now what we're going to do is um, try to get a what we're going to do is set it up so we have a full scale reading here and the mode switch has got to be set to manual and if your fundamental frequency is one kilohertz or higher we have to set this filter here we got to set that to basically uh, in so in here this switch we this is the sensitivity switch we set that to basically minimum which would be basically counterclockwise and this veneer switch here this veneer control here that basically uh, same thing with that we set that um, basically counter counterclockwise all the way basically and we got the meter switch that's the set level that's the switch of course which is what we're going to use now to do the setup to basically calibrate this thing get this uh, get it ready and we want here the the course and the fine controls we want that set to the basically the center position and of course I'm already hooked up normal the manual says to do the hookup now I don't think it makes any makes any difference and we use the sensitivity um, switch here we want to get a reading we want the needle to deflect at least basically over one third one third of the way so that's not one third
Okay, right there. So we did that and then we go ahead and we use the veneer here. We want to get a full scale basically deflection. So turn that up there. Okay. Got the full scale deflection there. Um of course the reason we're doing this now because what we're actually doing now we're we're already feeding the signal in. That means basically say if you're testing an amplifier um let's say I fed in a signal from the audio generator to the amplifier and then into this unit here. We're, we're what's coming out of the amplifier is the frequency that we're feeding in which is the fundamental called a fundamental frequency which is a thousand Hertz and the distortion coming out of there too that's extra and this is then basically here um, all of that basically this is the fundamental frequency and the distortion that's why we're setting this up because what we're going to do afterwards we're basically we're getting rid of of the fundamental frequency of the thousand Hertz <clears throat> and what we're going to be reading what we're going to be reading basically is what's left over and that's the distortion so if you can imagine in your mind part of this being the fundamental frequency and then part of this being the distortion that makes up all of this the full basically the full scale um, if we don't set this right here this um, veneer when we're doing the calibration say we didn't go all the way to here we didn't go all the way to the end but instead we went halfway um, that certainly would make a difference in your reading what I think I'm gonna try that in a second once I'm um, once I'm basically done here so now we want to take the frequency range switch and we want to put that in the right position um, that's the times 100 here and here's the frequency dial so we gotta take the the 10 times the 100 which would then give us exactly a thousand so we've already got this on basically on a basically on the thousand already so um next we switch this over to distortion here let me go ahead back this out a little bit so we switch this to distortion and then basically we go over back over here and we can adjust the basically these controls here to get basically a the minimum reading that's basically what's happening here so um, we just rock we can rock this back and forth and then see here you can see here see what that's doing we want the minimum so this is uh, the course adjustment it's not really the course this is the, the courses adjustment and then of course here here this would be again I don't know if this can be seen here This has to be also adjusted for the minimum. Okay. I think that's about right there. And then we adjust here the fine control. See what happens here. There, it's really, really going down there. Okay, I think that's about as fine as I can get it. So that's really down there, and then I take the uh, the mode here, mode switch, and I put that to automatic now. So now we go over to the meter range switch. Um, we want to keep going downward, making this thing more sensitive, so we get over here, so we get some kind of a, a reading we can work with, basically. So now. Now we're at the, I think this here is 30% distortion, and this is what we're getting there. 
I went down to 10%. Um, the 10% scale, 3%, 1%. Um, 0.3 percent. Oh, this is 0.3. Um, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.1. This will be say around 0 0.005, 0 0.04, probably around 0 0.003. So I can go down one more to the 1.1 1 .1 percent scale. That's the 0 0.1 percent scale, and. What is this thing giving me? So, uh, if, since this is point 0.1, this would be point 0 0.08, point 0.06, point 0.05, 0.04, point 0.02%, um, somewhere around point 0.02% distortion. Of course, mind you, this unit here is not um, calibrated, but the the as far as I remember with this audio generator I'm using, it's supposed to be like really low distortion. So I'm going to try one more time now, but I'm going to have the, um, when I do the setup again, but I'm not going to have this correctly. You see what a difference it makes. It's 0 0.02. Okay. Let me go ahead and um, get everything back to, uh, to, to its starting point. So I'm back to where I started. Um, the norm RF switch is in normal position. Um, function set level here is again I've got the here the sensitivity switch and the veneer that's turn all the way counterclockwise both of them this is in the mode switch is in manual frequency range is already up there set up um, set levels there already the of course the balance and the fine switch I got to set up um, just basically this switch here is um, this frequency dial is dialed in and your filter you're supposed to use that if it's a thousand Hertz or higher and it is a thousand Hertz so um, let's do this again so basically we're gonna go ahead and adjust the here's the sensitivity selector and but what we're going to do here is um, we're supposed to get one, we're supposed to, again, we're supposed to do this one third full scale. One third. Okay, we got one third right there, but let's just leave it there. Let's not adjust this here at all. You're fine. Let's see how much that throws that off. I think that was right here. Yeah, okay, that was about, that basically, that was about, um, halfway so I already got the frequencies uh, range switch here set up and that's kind of dialed in so and now I'm going to go ahead and set the basically the um, function switch here to distortion and basically I'm going to go ahead and dial this thing in again in again like this and here you can see what's happening. Okay, sometimes you just got to fidget. Now we'll use the uh, coarse and fine control again. Uh, it's not really making too much of a difference making tad now the fine control. So. Okay. Again, you got to be patient. Um, now we hit the automatic control. So, and then here we've got your meter range switch again. Now here, let's go on 30% distortion. Here's scale, 10%, 3%, 1%, 0.1%. You can see what's happening here, 1%. Um, no, excuse me, that's a 1% now. And this is your 0.3%. And this is your 0.1% now. Um, so, 
well, since we're on, this is this is point one. If we imagine in our minds here, the one here is a, a point one. This will be a point zero eight. This would be a point zero six. This is point zero five. This is point zero two. And this is right over point zero one. You can already see that's uh, that's what happens if you don't if you don't basically set that up right.